Imagine this. One day, your favorite pastime, that thing you absolutely love doing in your spare time, becomes your full-time job. Dream come true, right? But then, something strange happens. The fun starts to fade. Why does this happen? Buckle up as we set off to explore the intriguing journey from hobby to job. Most of us have something we love to do in our free time. Painting, gaming, cooking, or maybe playing a musical instrument. These activities give us joy, allow us to express ourselves, or simply help us relax. But what happens when your cherished hobby turns into your daily job? Can too much of a good thing be bad? Let's find out. Let's take the example of a basketball player. When they first picked up the ball, they probably fell in love with the game's exhilaration. Fast forward to when basketball becomes their job, they're still doing what they love, but now there are stakes, pressure, deadlines. Suddenly, each shot isn't just about the thrill, but about paychecks, contracts, and career progression. Does this mean work and fun are like oil and water, never to mix? Not quite. Consider a sandbox. When you were a kid, it was a world of imagination and creativity. No rules, no limitations. Now, imagine you're told to make sandcastles for a living, and each castle must meet certain specifications. Suddenly, the sandbox feels a lot less fun. The transition from hobby to job is often like this. It can introduce constraints to something that was once free and unrestricted. But can we prevent this fun fade out? Yes, we can. Let's uncover how. It's all about finding balance. When your hobby becomes your job, it's important to keep a part of it just for your enjoyment. Think of it as a sanctuary, a space that remains untouched by work-related pressures. If you love painting and now you're a professional artist, maybe keep doodling or sketching as a space for pure, unadulterated creativity. Think you've got it figured out? Wait till you hear about the paradox of choice. Here's an interesting phenomenon. When you're free to do what you love all the time, the excitement can start to wear off. It's like having ice cream for every meal. Sounds awesome at first, but after a while, you start craving something different. Are hobbies destined to lose their sparkle once they become jobs? Let's dive deeper. When a hobby transforms into a job, the focus can shift from the process to the end result. The pleasure derived from the act itself might get overshadowed by the need for outcomes and achievements. Like a musician, once engrossed in the sheer joy of creating music, may now be more concerned about hit albums and chartbusters. Can we keep the magic alive? Absolutely. Let's look at the bright side. On the flip side, Making a job out of a hobby offers the extraordinary opportunity to do what you love every day, to dive deeper into your passion than you ever could as a hobbyist. It's like turning a fun ride on a rowboat into a thrilling deep-sea diving adventure. Can you maintain the thrill of deep-sea diving without feeling the pressure of the ocean? Let's discover the key. The secret lies in preserving the play within the work. It's about embracing the joy of learning, the thrill of exploring, even when you're doing it for a living. Remember, just because something is your job doesn't mean it can't bring you joy. Still curious about how to keep the spark alive in your hobby turned job? Hang on, there's more. Let's not forget about the sense of purpose and fulfillment that comes from turning a hobby into a profession. There's an incredible satisfaction in knowing that you're spending your days doing something that you would do for free. Remember, even as a job, your hobby allows you to connect with like-minded people, develop a deeper understanding of something you love, and, importantly, contribute to the world in a way that feels meaningful to you. So. Are we doomed to lose the joy in our hobbies once they become our jobs? Not necessarily. Maintaining the fun in a hobby turned job can sometimes be as simple as rekindling the why. Why did you love this activity in the first place? Reconnecting with this feeling can help bring back some of the initial passion and excitement. For example, if you turned your love for writing into a career as a novelist, and the magic seems to be fading, maybe revisit those first stories you wrote, just for the joy of it. From hobby to job, it's a journey full of unexpected turns. Ready for the final twist? Here it is, fun isn't a finite resource. The fun might seem to fade away, but it can be found again, often in places you never expected. In the challenges, in the growth, in the accomplishment of making your passion a crucial part of your life. And there we have it, folks. The winding, thrilling journey from hobby to job. Whether you're on this journey or contemplating it, remember this, it's okay if the fun fades. It's okay if your feelings towards your hobby evolve. The key is to keep seeking, keep exploring, and never lose sight of the joy that led you down this path in the first place. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, keep your passion burning, let curiosity guide you, and remember, whether hobby or job, it's all part of your amazing journey.